Hello, my beautiful people. This is Mimi. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're already a existing subscriber, thank you for being part of my Soul Tri family. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your donation. Um, this message that I have that I want to share with my Soul Tri family is that your kingdom spouse or your 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 partnership, your lover, whatever you want to call it, your husband, your wife, they are coming for you. And while God have been showing me within my own, because I'm waiting for the same thing that I'm talking about, God is showing me that my husband is going to be so emotionally support, so emotionally invested in me. Because God have shown me what I was doing, my inner work. I have been doing my inner work right now for seven years. Seven years. Yes, I moved to Georgia seven years ago with my children. You know, just in a country with no friends, no family member. Just I'm out here by myself and just doing it. Four years I've been, you know, abstinent or celibate, whatever you want to call it. But I have been waiting for my husband and in the past, people have told me, try to project the insecurity over me, try to tell me, oh, because I have, you know, I have so many kids. I have three kids that nobody going to want to date me. I'm going to be very clarified. It was in a lot of people that told me it was one specific person that told me, which was my kid's father, because he's a very narcissistic person. You know, I thought it was going to be happily ever after with him, but he was on some other stuff. But for so many years, I, you know, because he was trying to project his insecurity over me, I really thought that, oh, my God. I said, God, nobody's going to love me because I have that because I have kids. Am I doomed? Nobody going to see the good in me. Like I was just doubting for so many years because. Sometimes people will come around you or your family or friend, whoever in your, whoever that you have trust, that you have love. Sometimes, you know, the evil side or the devil will use them to try to destroy you. And for so many years, when I think about it today, I say I could have been in the relationship. But because I have believed that lie that I was doomed and it wasn't nothing about my personality or who I am, you know, what I bring to the table or my value. It was because I believed that lie that, you know, the devil told me, oh, you have kids. Nobody wants you. <laughs> no, nobody wants you. So if you're hearing this message, whether you have kids, whether you're in your 40s or your 50s or your 60s, God is going to change everything for you. This new person that's coming into your life, I keep seeing emotional support. I keep seeing emotional investment. I'm going to use this example. I don't want you to think bad of it. Just this is the closest example that I can see where I can relate to this message. What God has been telling me. You know how someone that have like, a medical problem and they have a support dog or rather they blind that support dog do everything for them protect them you know they there for them because of the emergency because of the emotional side so god is sending you your husband or your wife they're gonna be your emotional support if you have anxiety if you have whatever prop insecurity you know, you have negative thought, whatever problem, you know, whatever mental problem that you're going through right now. Like, let's say you have anxiety so bad. God is sending somebody that's going to help you learn how to calm down. They're going to speak life to you. They're going to say, breathe, baby. Take a deep breath. I'm here for you. I love you. I'm going to protect you. Nothing's going to happen to you. So, the Most High is sending you someone that's going to help your emotional side. 
Because a lot of you who's hearing this message, you are emotionally wounded. So many things have, you've been through so many trauma. So those trauma have really traumatized you where your emotion is in balance. There's days where you are crying. There's day where you are depressed. There's day you want to kill yourself. There's day that you are living your best life. So because you're not, you know, emotionally grounded, like let's say you could be strong and everything, creative, lovable, and every other stuff. When it comes to your emotion, whoever's hearing this message, you don't have it under control. Your emotion have ruined you because you because of your past, because of the situation that have happened to you. You never heal. You never let go. You never took care of it. So you always on the emotional side. Whether you moody, whether you want to cry, whether you feel you your emotion been like a like a pressure, like a pipe, just steam ready to blow off. Like you never in that good emotion that. I feel good today. I just, I, I have a whole month. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blissful. I'm feeling joyful. But instead, your emotion have been taking a hold of you. Most of your life. It's almost like you wasn't even in control of your life. Because you always been mad and moody and sad, depressed. When was the last time you was happy? When was the last 30 days you had nothing but happiness? You woke up every day with nothing but happiness. So this message is not for everybody. That's people I know. They're so blissful. Like my middle child. He's always happy. My son Josiah, he's always happy. He broke his finger. Man, he was happy going through the surgery like nothing. There's some people that have that. The emotion is so balanced. They happy people, and that's people that whatever they go through, they sh it, it show like it's showing their mood, it's showing how they feel, it just show it. So God is sending someone to take care of your emotion because your emotion then really was destroying you, making you stuck, not being able to move forward because you always moody, you always sad, you always depressed. God said, "I'm sending." Someone to bring you some type of happiness to bring you out of this depression. You're not going to need to take anti-depressant, you know, pill. God is going to send you someone that's going to love you. Want to take you out on a date. Want to take you out on a picnic. Want to take you out to the movie. So your husband or your wife is going to be like an emotional support person. When I used the example earlier, like a dog, this person, their job is to make sure that you are all right. Your spouse is coming to help you mostly uh, on the financial side. They definitely got you. You don't have to worry about working, struggling, working two jobs, trying to make ends meet. You have a provider that's coming for you. But the biggest thing that I keep seeing was even for my own self when God was saying that, Mimi, I'm sending you someone that's going to love you and take care of your emotional side. Because you have been doing this for so long by yourself. You need someone to nurture your emotional side. You need someone to help you, you know, elevate your, your happiness, your bliss. Because being a woman, when you have to do everything by yourself and you don't have a husband, it's almost like you're in a survival mode. Even though you have, you can have money. But you're still in that survival mode because you don't have no one to nurture you. You're doing all the nurturing. You're doing all the taking care of. You're doing all the working. You're doing all I have to get up. You're doing all everything. But who's taking care of you? God said, I'm sending someone to take care of you emotionally, physically, spiritually. This person going to pray with you. This depression that you've been on all your life from the day you was born. You've been depressed. You've been moody. You've been neutral. 
Most of you are neutral. You're not happy. You're not sad. You're neutral. But God said, let's remove that neutral. You are going to be happy. This message is about emotional side, emotional happiness, emotional bliss. God is sending you a partnership that's going to make you happy. Your husband might be like a comedian. <laughs> they like to crack jokes and just keep you laughing. Just keep you ha 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 laughing. And whatever depression that you had before you met him, all this happiness, all this laughing, all this joy, all this bliss is going to heal you. <laughs> Whoever hears this message, if you are a giddy person, a happy person like my son, and you're always happy, this message is not for you. But if this message, you've been struggling with your emotional side, You've been angry, sad, depressed. You always go through those dark side. You don't go in that happy light side. I'm happy. I feel good. I'm always happy every day, no matter what I go through. If if every if your life been a living hell and you have to go through the emotion, some days you cry, some days you wanted to fight, some days you wanted to crawl up under a rock. This message is for you. God said, I'm healing your emotional side. Your emotional side is your true nature. How you feel is how you deal with life. How you feel is how you show up in life. If you feel miserable, if you feel defeat or in fear, you're not going to show up in life in your best version. But if you feel confidence... You feel good. You happy. You want to be the best version of yourself. So whoever is hearing this message, you have never been your best version of yourself. You have never seen your true self. You've been living a lie all your life because you're under pressure. You're under poverty. You're under stress. You're under everything that is not of you. So it is time for you now to start declaring, decree that all the spirit that is not you, like poverty, I declare and decree that this spirit of poverty is not me because I'm here to, to be a blessing to the world. So any spirit, anything that's trying to come against me and make me not do the will of God, you have to disappear. So whoever hearing this message, God is sending you emotional support, not even through your husband. I see besties. God is sending you besties, friends, pe your soul tribe, people that's coming to help you. People that's going to make your life so easy where you can smile. God said, I seen that you've been miserable. You've been depressed. I hear your tears. Your tears are golden. Your tears is not in vain. You thought you were just crying for nothing, right? No. Your tears have been heard. And God said, I'm tired of you crying. I'm tired of you depressed. I'm tired of you in that low vibration. I'm tired of you so sad. I'm tired... It's either you need a therapist or you get it together. If you need a therapist, reach out to someone. Heal yourself. Heal your mental state. Life is already so much pressure already. Only the strong ones survive. So if you're going through it, it's unbearable. Reach out to someone that... Have the knowledge that's been through it that could help you. Reach out to me. Reach out to whoever you need to reach out. Just reach out to someone. Don't give up. Don't. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't leave this earth. Just know that you have people that's been through the worst just like you. And they're still here and they're still surviving. They're still fighting. But. God is sending your soul tribe, your husband, your bestie, your friends. Like, God is sending your whole new people that's going to help you emotionally. That's going to bring some type of happiness. I see happiness, joy. Like, joy. Like, good things that's going to make you happy. 
good breaks, good financial stuff going to happen for you. Money going to come for you that's going to make you happy. Good friends going to come to you that's going to make you happy. Your husband going to come to you that's going to make you happy. Let's say if you're in a job, you're going to get promoted. That's going to make you happy. Your social life, people are going to start taking interest of you. Be like, oh, I like you. I like you. I like your business. I like what you do. Like, I see happiness. God said, oh, my God, you have been so miserable for so long. God said, I have to give you some type of joy. Because you've been so miserable. <laughs> miserable. Happiness have not been in reach for you. You don't wake up and feel good. But God said, this is the moment. This is your time. Joy shall be your portion. You know how to say joy come in the morning. This is your moment for you to have joy. You deserve it. No more sadness. God is sending you your husband, who's going to be very emotionally supported, very emotionally invested in you. Your soul tribe, friends, connection, people. That's, they're going to bring so much happiness to you, so much joy. God going to send you a, maybe like a funny bestie to just crack jokes with you where you just laugh. All I see is emotional support. I just keep seeing emotional support. God keeps showing me. I'm saying you people that's going to make you laugh and that's going to joke. That's, you know, that's, that's going to keep you laughing. Because if you stay laughing, you stay happy, you're going to heal yourself. God said, because you've been through so much, the only way how I can heal you is me by bringing people that's going to bring that type of love energy to your life that's going to make you feel so good and you're going to and that way you're going to heal when you're around people that want the best for you when you're around people that's blessing you that's pouring into you that love you you can only be the best version of yourself and when you're in your best version there's no you don't have no disease no diabetes no stress no none of that because you're surrounded by good people by people that love you so Hey, start receiving. When new people start coming to your life, if they have good attention, welcome them. That's God just say, hey, I'm sending people to heal you, to love you, to pour into you. You've been always giving, giving, pouring into everybody's life. It's time for people to give to you. It's time for people to start pouring into your life. Start making you flourish. Start making you look so beautiful. Everything that you have give in life, you're gonna get it back. But mostly your 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 husband, your your partner, they definitely come in one of the main thing God is sending them for is for emotional support. To help you heal your emotional wound, to help you feel good. To help you wake up every day where you want to breathe, you want to smile, you want to have a good day. This person is coming to help you have a good day. All your day is going to be a good day. You don't have to be sad anymore, okay? God is sending you a partner that's going to be so emotionally invested in you, so into you. And they're going to make sure that their job is to keep you happy. Their job is to make sure that you are emotionally happy. So if you're hearing this message, this message is for you. You're going to be happy. Okay? All the sadness, everything that happened from the past, you had to go through it for you to learn who's for you, who's not for you. But God said, you pass all the tests. Now it's time for you to be happy. God have approved your new beginning and your new happiness. All you got to do is walk into it and say, God, I received this new beginning. I received this new happiness. I received this new husband. I received this new wealth. I received every good thing you have for me. 
because you deserve it. You did good. You passed all the tests. <laughs> Some people would already give up, but you're still here after so many bad things that you've been through. So this is your moment. God is here for you and everything's going to work out for you. So if you want to uh, book a session with me, just go ahead and the information will be in the link. Just give me, um, send me an email and we can book the session and to make sure that you talk to someone. You don't have to be afraid and you don't have to be wondering, oh, if this person is good for me or not. Just ask God for discernment. Anybody that I go through, rather any professional, I always ask God, is this person good for me? And God always send me a sign. So your good days are coming. Happiness are coming because you deserve it. So I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye. My manifestation vision board are on sale.